Hello everybody and welcome back where today we're talking about a whole host of new PSVR 2 announcements. From new games to PS Plus premium trials to free trials for everybody, there's a whole host to talk about here. But before we do that, I'm going to do my usual spiel that I've been doing over the last week or so. Only 20% of you are subscribed to the channel and we are on the road to 10,000 subscribers. So if you do find yourself liking the content, it's free to subscribe and it's also free to unsubscribe later on if you end up not liking the content, which is completely fair enough. Any help would be appreciated to that goal though. So thank you all for listening to the silly rant and let's get on with the brand new news. The first announcement we got is from Fun Train. Now these are the guys who made Twilight Zone VR, a game that was very restricted by its budget, but had a lot of cool ideas and I genuinely did enjoy playing all the way through. Their game, Exorcist Legion VR Deluxe Edition, is being ported to PSVR 2 on the 28th. So that's in about a week or so. From their store page, you step into the heart of supernatural horror with the Exorcist Legion VR, now bringing the ultimate VR experience to PSVR 2 on PlayStation 5. Experience the bone-chilling series like never before with PSVR 2's advanced haptics intensifying each terrifying encounter. Just like Madison, it seems like the haptics are going to be brought into play here, which is awesome. The key features are unparalleled realism, feel every pulse-pounding moment with cutting-edge visual fidelity, PSVR 2's haptic feedback immerses you deeper into a world where your decisions have life or death consequences. You can manipulate objects, solve puzzles, and use sacred artifacts to defend off demonic forces. Each episode builds on the last, just like Twilight Zone it seems, but in more narrative style, creating a deep interconnected narrative that pulls you into its dark heart. There are five chapters in this game and you can choose your path and face unique challenges tailored to your decisions, which sounds really cool. There's an adaptive difficulty as well, so if you keep on dying or slipping up, it will adjust to you, which is nice. And a branching narrative, meaning every single playthrough is different. Again, that's on the 28th of this month, a game that we didn't know about at the start of the month, so I couldn't include it in that video, but it's worth looking out for because apparently this one was a load of fun, but limited by old hardware. So hopefully on PSVR 2, it lives up to the hype. The CEO of SciTech Games, has also come out and said they're in the final stages of QA for Windlands 2. Now, if you don't know what Windlands is, we got to cycle all the way back to the inception of VR gaming, to be honest. Near the start, we had Windlands 1, just known as Windlands, no one on the end when it came out. And it was essentially Spider-Man VR before we got the Far From Home and Homecoming Spider-Man VR experiences. You had two grapple hooks and you swung your way through a pretty incredible looking environment in the sky that had gigantic dead celestial looking beings in it. And it was genuinely really cool. It was a megalophobic game and I absolutely loved it on PSVR 1. It was one of the experiences that is now a core memory for me as a VR player because, you know, I grew up with it. Windlands 2 also jumped onto PSVR 1 and from what I heard was a similar type of exploration game keeping the same gameplay loops. But the tone, I think, was a little different and people rate the first game a bit higher. But Windlands 2 is co-op up to four players, which I think is a really, really nice feature to have here on PSVR 2. You also have a bow in Windlands 2 as opposed to just having the grappling hooks in the first game. But it's a very similar narrative to the first one. So if you like the look of the gameplay, you'll probably have a good time here and I'm really looking forward to exploring the world of Windlands again, but on PSVR 2 this time. The final game announcement we have is Snow Scout, a game that kind of reminded me of, I think, Firewatch from what I saw in terms of art style and kind of direction and just vibes. This is from Tunamax Media. These guys did Rainbow Reactor Fusion, a game that didn't really sell that well, I don't think, because it's quite a niche VR game, to be honest, and was tailored towards a very specific audience. But the game itself was polished, looked good, ran well, and did everything it advertised. So I have high hopes for Snow Scout. This is tentatively announced for 2024, just as a big window of release. And in this exploration adventure on skis, you start a one week stint as a volunteer for the Snow Scouts. Your task is to prepare a small ski resort in the German speaking Alps for reopening, and you're guided by radio through instructions from Vreni, a very likable member of the organization. During your seven day stint in this remote and majestic mountain wilderness, you'll get to know more about her and maybe even about yourself. So it seems like quite an interesting game. And hopefully if it is as sharp as Rainbow Reactor, it has some nice visuals to go along with the PSVR 2 headset. I'm definitely digging the vibe of this one and the setting as well. I'm always down for some more natural PSVR 2 games, so bring it on. Now for our two trial announcements or just kind of public service announcements. The two games that have a free trial are Barbaria and VR Skater, but there's a little bit of a difference to be made here. From what I can tell, Barbaria has a free trial for everybody. No matter if you have PS Plus Premium or anything or Extra or something like that, I think you can just go in and pick it up and I would encourage you to do so because Barbaria I didn't really think much of before I played the game and I came away absolutely loving it. And if this trial can get more people on board to buying the full thing, it means more players for the game. 
more bases to raid and more money for the devs, which is always a good thing because the game is genuinely a bit of a hidden gem under the surface here on PSVR 2 that I, I really enjoy my time with. As for VR Skater, one of the games that I reviewed a little while ago and I actually really, really liked, even though it was really difficult. It's also got a free trial, I think for about an hour and a half or an hour and 15 minutes or something like that, but that's just with PS Plus Premium. So you do need that tier of PS Plus to access this trial for definite. However, if you do have that tier, I would recommend taking a look at VR Skater if you're a fan of the Tony Hawk games or Skate 3. It's got very similar music, vibes, and is honestly the most accurate thing that I can relate to in VR to really riding a skateboard. They got it down somehow. You feel like you have that momentum, and I loved my time with the game, even though it absolutely kicked my ass. Anyway, that'll do us for today. We'll be back tomorrow with some Gran Turismo custom race moments, which are absolutely hilarious. So please do stick around for that tomorrow. And past that, we'll be on to our normal reviews and such. And hopefully along the way, we get an announcement for a PlayStation showcase, because wouldn't that be nice? Anyway, thank you all for watching. Thank you to our patrons, Luke Bentley, Phil Irving, Zeke Moser, Ace Gamer, and Hippie Pickle. And thank you to our YouTube member, Jin007, a license to chill. If you want to join the Patreon or YouTube membership or the Discord, all the links are below. Thank you all for watching once again and supporting the channel and letting me do what I do. And I hope to see you all in the next one.